It's Thursday the 15th of July. Welcome to the Sierra Nevadas. Um, I've been up here a couple of weeks now. Oh, first of all, sorry about um, the lack of video on the blog lately. Um, I've had trouble getting internet access in town, just opening times, that sort of thing. So hopefully this will make up for it. Um, I'm just coming up to a place called Silver Pass. Uh, which is about 11,000 feet. Um, I'm on the penultimate day of an eight-day stretch without um, resupplying or getting in town. So basically I've been on the trail for um, eight days. Uh, and in short, I've been getting my ass kicked um, and everybody else has as well. Um, I've been banking on 20 mile days to get through here and I've managed to do one. The rest of them have been about 15. So there was one day it took us 12 hours to do 11 miles. I can't believe there's mosquitoes up here. Um, and it's just really, really hard. Uh, I mean, it's fun, but God, it's hard. Um, basically, the day, the, the day's consisting of just getting over mountain passes. Um, if you imagine the ele elevation graph, imagine like a patient's heartbeat on a, on a hospital uh, cardiograph. It's just up, down, up, down. So you go over a pass up to about 11, 12, 13,000 feet. Um, you get to the top, then you go down the other side. You get to the bottom. And then you go up again and the whole thing uh, carries on. I've got about two or three weeks of this, and that is the Sierras. Fortunately, the hardest bit's out of the way. We've done Forrester Pass, which is the highest point on the PCT. That's about 13,000. Um, Muir Pass was a real killer. Mather Pass was a real killer as well. But those are the three or four really hard ones that are out of the way. Um, from here on in, the highest ones are sort of about 10, 11,000 feet, which means we're just below snow line. Um, the other thing is the uh, the river crossings have been insane. Um, I did one yesterday. Uh, the river was about 100 foot wide, and I didn't think it was that deep or that strong. And I got about two thirds of the way across, and suddenly went down, and the water came up to about here. And the current got me, and I thought I was, I thought I was going, but somehow I managed to get across. I've had two or three of those yesterday. I had about six, six river crossings. Um, I started off by taking my shoes off and just putting my sandals on to get across, but you just get so wet uh, that now you just, you just come to one, you just get in, and you get across it, and you get wet. So for about a week solid, I've, I've been pretty, I've had pretty wet feet. Uh, the mosquitoes are insane. Uh, not so bad up here, but once you get down to the the valleys and the gorges, it's normally a meadow at the bottom, a lot of water. As soon as you stop, you just get pounced upon by mosquitoes. Um, I calculated last night um, that I've done about 22,000 feet worth of climbing, which I think is about six and a half thousand meters. Um, it works out roughly that I have to do about 15 to 20 miles a day and basically climb Ben Nevis, uh, day in, day out. And I've got that for about the next couple of weeks. Um, then it calms down a little bit. We come out of the Sierras. Um, and we start entering the chain, chain of mountains, which stretches pretty much all the way up to Washington. It's a volcanic chain. Um, Sha Mount Shasta, Mount Etna, Mount Washington, Mount Hood. I mean, they're all a long way off, but it pretty much starts in a few weeks. Um, I've been eating like a man possessed. They say your appetite goes up in the, in the mountains. It does, because you're putting in so much effort and it's colder. I've nearly run out of food. 
but I'm having an absolute blast, enjoying it, loving the mountains. Um, thanks for watching the blog. Don't forget to stay tuned.